So the biggest question a lot of men have on their minds usually is how to be better or to last longer in bed. In today's video, we are going to be answering that question as I'm joined by my favorite doctor, Dr. Kelvin Owusu. He's gonna run us through it, through everything. What do we need to know? Um, how can men last longer? Especially if you're one of those guys who, you know, basically deals with something like premature ejaculation. So we'll get into that right about now. Let me welcome Dr. Kelvin Owusu. Good to see you, Doc. How are you doing today? Very, very well. Good to be here, Jess. Thanks for the invite. As always, it's good to have you. So um, is this something you come across a lot, like, you know, in your maybe, should I say, field of work where men, you know, tend to have challenges lasting long, you know, in bed or satisfying their partner sexually? I mean, there's, there's, to be honest, there's no man out there who does not want to last longer. So <laughs> yes, we, I do come across it um, quite often, I must add. And, and for good reason, because I mean, uh, statistically, one out of three men has had an issue with premature ejaculation and has actually needed some form of medical intervention some way, somehow. So it is common, you know, but there's also, there's also a little bit of subjectivity, you see, because like I said, um, almost every man wants to last longer because um, they, they think that women lo love it when you last longer. I mean, um, that's what they are saying. That's not what I am saying. Is that actually the case? <laughs> we'll have a conversation on that separately, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we, we, we do get, get it quite often. You know, and, and, and in fact, um, even though uh, everybody wants to last longer, the average man or the average um, penetrative sex actually doesn't go beyond five minutes, you know. So, um, yeah, it, it makes it a bit difficult to define the, that um, premature ejaculation thing because there's a little bit of subjectivity um, to it. You know, however, any man who, who is unable to go uh, longer than three minutes is technically said to, to be having premature ejaculation. But what, 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 what you have to realize too is that it depends on what you do with the three minutes. You know, because typically if a man comes to me or comes to any doctor to complain about premature ejaculation, one of the first questions that we will establish is who is complaining? Is it you, the man who is complaining about the duration, you not lasting long enough, or is it your partner? You see, because if, 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 both you, the man, and your partner are complaining about the, the, dur the duration of the sex act, then it could be that indeed there's an issue. If it's, just, if, if it's just one party complaining, then it could be an issue of expectation. You see, because the reason why it's very important to establish this is that premature ejaculation begets premature ejaculation. You see, there, there, there's some form of an... Yes, you know, it, it, can, it can establish a vicious cycle. You see, so you have it. Um, where you, you have it the first time. Now you become anxious. You know because why me? Why is this happening? You know you, you you start to worry so much so that when you actually have the opportunity to have sex again, because of that fear and that anxiety, the probability that you're going to have it again is high. You know, and so if if it's an issue of expectation, then we need to try and make sure that it is clear and 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 we can we can disabuse your mind so that we can you know you can go back to enjoying you know, your sex act, because the truth of the matter is that every man, and this time it's not just one out of three, every man at some point will have some form of premature ejaculation, you know, because there are several, um, several factors that cause it, you know, some of which you have control over others, you don't have control over, you know, even your state of health can cause premature ejaculation. I mean, if you are tired, you, 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 you could have premature ejaculation. So it's, 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 it, it can, you know, every man has been there, you know, so what, what, what it is, is what you do after that, um, experience is what is what matters pretty much right so so just by way of definition then what because you've said a lot what is premature ejaculation so basically the premature ejaculation um so let me put it this way it doesn't have a specific definition it has features so a man who who is unable to go beyond three minutes any man who's lasting between one minute or three minutes one minute to three minutes is said to have premature ejaculation any man who is not able to who who, who ejaculates before they had wanted to ejaculate is said to have premature ejaculation so you may, remember i said there's some subjectivity to it <laughs> you know so if if i want to ejaculate after 10 minutes and i ejaculate after eight minutes i technically i could say i have premature ejaculation <laughs> you know right right so, so that makes it a bit difficult to put a categorical definition to premature ejaculation you know so when you come in as as 
to complete a premature ejaculation, I need to try and, and establish all these things to make sure that you are not, it's not, it's not an, an, an ego thing. You know, you, you wanted to go 15 minutes, but you're only able to go 10 minutes, you know. So, yeah, we, we, we need to sort of divide between those two things. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So, uh, you, you mentioned something about, you know, your health even contributing or tiredness contributing to premature ejaculation. But are there other causes? Yes. So um, for, for, for starters, the biggest cause of premature, premature ejaculation is actually your mind. I mean, your state of mind. So I mentioned anxiety, depression as well can also can also cause premature ejaculation. You know, so your mind is the biggest, biggest. Um, in fact, your mind is the biggest sex organ. To be, to be, to be frank, that's where that's where all the action happens. So your state of mind will determine whether you're going to actually enjoy the sex, last long, etc. It starts in the mind. You know, so that's the biggest cause. Then there are the medic, actual medical causes. You know, such as diabetes, um, hypertension. You know, cholesterol-related issues can also affect affect your I mean, your ejaculation. Then there are medication that can also affect um, your ejaculation. In fact, your sex your sexual performance can be affected by medication. You know, so all those all those ones are there. But let me be quick to add that you see your performance in general is a function of your health. You see, um, I you, you cannot separate your your sexual performance from from the state of your heart or from the state of your of your elbow. Your body is one and it operates together you know so if you are not well the probability that you are not going to last long is very very high you see because the resource is the same resource that the body is is, is moving around you know so if if you happen to have for instance a bad heart you know somebody with with heart failure you cannot possibly expect to be to be lasting long because the body needs to conserve the energy to help your heart function you see and so you i, I need to stress on this because you find men especially, and this since you are talking about men, you, you find men typically who are overweight. The guy can barely climb up, up two flights of stairs, and yet this same gentleman wants to last 10 minutes in bed. If you do that, you are going to shut down and die. And there are several stories of men who have actually had strokes and heart attacks in the middle of sex because they were not healthy, you see. And so you cannot put your sexual performance above your overall health, you know, because this is what, what brings in the aphrodisiacs to try and enhance the experience, to try and last long, and then brings them problems. So it's very, very important. Your health matters when it comes to sex. Right. I mean, you did mention aphrodisiacs uh, from a medical perspective. Are these things that work? Like I've heard of chocolates and whatnot, you know, or is it just, I don't know, a, a fad of some sorts? Well, I mean, they, they, they do make a difference. I mean, it, 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 so they work in simple, simple terms. They work. They do make a difference. You know, but where where the people are taking the pharmaceuticals, you know, let me let me give you a typical a typical um, case I dealt with a few years ago. So this was actually a young chap, mid twenties. You know, he comes into the emergency room with an erection. Now, why would you come to the emergency room with an erection? Apparently, he had had this erection for four good hours. You know, and the story is that he had he had to. I mean, he was going to be with a with a woman, and so he wanted to um um shine, and so he actually took one blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I mentioned oh blue God. pill, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So he went to take one one blue pill, and you know, he suffered one of one of the uncommon side effects of the blue pill. You know, so he had actually had a, a, a condition called priapism. You know, and so he he suffice to say, this gentleman has actually lost the function of at, at least the erectile function of his penis. You see, because if you have if you have an erection that long, you know, the penis will die from lack of oxygen. You know, and so, and and and, and it, it it for him it happened with a blue pill. I've seen another person who have whose own happened with a concoction, a mixture of all sorts of weird aphrodisiacs. And so, uh, in in our quest to last long, we need to understand that there are safer ways of doing it. I mean, no, 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 no. But if you want to take a bar of chocolate, I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, it's not it's not it's not going to kill you. At least not not at that point. You know, you will get some benefit because yes, there is some evidence that it does help in in this regard. You know, but it, it doesn't also mean you should go and take ten bars of chocolate. It, you know so moderation is everything but there's a better way to last long and that's actually exercise you know just staying fit can actually make you last long you know i'm guessing that sexual activity for men is like an aerobic exercise correct it is all right so now you know that there is this saying that i mean you get better with practice right sex is also one of the things that you get better at with practice you know and so and so in, in as much as it's an aerobic exercise when you start jogging today you cannot cover the same distance that you will cover if you have been jogging for two months. You know, every day you go out to jog, 
you, you actually do a little better than your previous time. And the more consistent you are at jogging, you actually improve your, 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 what's it called? Your capacity, you know, in the same regard, in some way, somehow sex also follows the same, the same, the same trend. So if you actually practice, you get better. Now you get better on two levels. If it's with the same partner, you get to know that partner better and better so much so that you know how to actually bring that partner to orgasm, you know, such that when that partner actually gets orgasm in, let's say two minutes and you are a three minute man, it does not make a difference to you that you are, you actually are in a category of premature ejaculation because your partner is actually satisfied. You see, so this, this is where, this is where the subjectivity comes in. So knowing what you do, knowing what to do with your three minutes is even more important than the three minutes itself. You see, because if, if you have done your good foreplay, if you have done all that needs to be done, you can actually do a lot more with three minutes than somebody who has no idea what they are doing. You see, and so, and so, um, uh, this, this is a caution I give to, I give to all my people, especially the, the younger, the younger folks, you know, learn what to do with your, with your whatever, two minutes or three minutes or four minutes or whatever time, like time you have been given, you see, because you can, you can achieve so much more, you know. But on top of that, if you really want to improve your capacity, there are better ways. I've mentioned, I mean, I'm not going to stop talking about getting fit. Just by picking up a habit of skipping or jogging, I can guarantee you that your sexual um, tolerance or your sexual capacity will actually improve. And this fact actually works both ways. It works for women and it works for men as well. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 exercise does want this. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. That's that's true. Um, I've I've also heard about Kegel exercises. Yes, yes, yes. Kegel exercise. So we speak about Kegels a lot for women, but Kegels also makes a big impact for men. In fact, people have documented or, or people have documented um, increased um, or, orgasmic feeling. <laughs> you know, once once they started um, once they started doing Kegels. But then the challenge is many people don't know how to do kegels, and that's what that that's that that's that's rather sad because it's actually one of the easiest things you can do. I mean, as I'm sitting here, I've, I've done like three already, so you know how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's it's pretty simple, you know. You, you, when you go to to pee, once you start peeing, or or let me put it this way. If you feel like peeing, but then you are, you are not in the right place, you cannot just start peeing, right? You need to hold the pee. That muscle that you activate to keep the pee in there until you can reach the loo, that is the muscle you want to exercise when you are doing the kegels, you know? And so for beginners, the easiest way to learn how to exercise that muscle is when you go to stand um, in, the, in the washroom to pee, as the pee is coming out, just do inter intermittently stop the pee. You know, as you intermittently stop the pee, you, you sort of make that connection to know that this is the muscle. So when you are sitting by yourself, you can actually be um, doing that Kegel and that's it. It helps to build the pelvic floor muscles and keeps you, keep, keeps you in, in good shape, you know, at that, at that point, you know, so that when you are actually in the, in the, in handling the business, you can do a good job at it. So Kegels actually helps improve your orga orgasm experience. And are there any other types that are worthy of note? You know, ways of, of getting men to last longer in bed. I mean, I've heard men talk about, for instance, desensitizing products. Do you, do you know anything about that? Yes. Um, even though I don't, I, I don't personally and endorse them because and here here's the reason why. Now these tend to be, I mean, creams or I mean, some pills that you can take. You know, the pills are not so common, but they are creams basically. You're supposed to rub it on your on your penis about 15 20 minutes before you engage in sex and the idea is that it's supposed to kill the sense reduce the sensitivity around the penis so that you can actually last longer you know now what happens is that or one of the one of the uh, unwanted effects is that once you have rubbed it on your penis and you engage in sex it's going to also rub off on the woman which means it's also going to decrease her sensitivity as well you know so then um, you you, you kind of have to do double work to get to double get work to where, wherever she she needed to get to so i don't really support that uh, for me there are other 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 things that we, we can do but most importantly we need to we need to determine what is causing your premature ejaculation so once you know the cause and we know what to do if it happens to be a psychological or a mental issue then counseling would definitely play a major role a lot of, a significant majority of the people who have uh, premature ejaculation through counseling are able to recover and do their own thing so counseling works you know then there are some techniques that you can also adopt. One of the uh, common ones is something we call start, stop, squeeze. Now, basically, 
basically you start the sexual stimulation uh, and just when you're about to have your um, ejaculation you stop and then you squeeze the tip of your penis and um, just below the head where the head meets the shaft you squeeze that portion close uh, until the the sensation decreases and then you, you sort of continue whatever you are doing bring yourself just before ejaculation again and then you stop and then you squeeze now this is, is a form of training for your body after some time, you may not have to stop and squeeze because your body will obviously recognize that this is not a time for ejaculation and will, will, you, you, know, you tend to last longer. It helps as well. But sometimes the squeezing might be a bit uncomfortable. It might be, even be painful. If that happens to you, then don't bother squeezing. Just stop. So you also be start, stop. You know, so you just stop and then let that feeling pass, the ejaculation feeling pass, and then you can you continue. After a while, again, the body will recognize that you know this is not a time to for for ejaculation, and then you turn you tend to last longer. It takes it takes some practice, it takes it takes some time. You have to be patient and you know sort of perfect it. Um, and then there's one more thing that you can do. Controversial it is, but I mean it's it it works, which is actually masturbation. But before I talk about that, let let me let me let me sound a warning. Even though masturbation can be a solution, it can also be a cause of premature ejaculation, especially in the younger age group, you know, because if you, if you masturbate excessively, you can rewire your brain and, and, and it will shift focus away from a, a female partner, you know, because you have your, you, you can, you have your hands or your toys. And so it, it sort of messes up with your, with your mindset. So excessive masturbation can cause you problems. Having said that masturbation, can be all can be used as a tool you know in dealing with premature ejaculation one way is actually through the stop start squeeze you know you can actually do that with masturbation and train yourself to last longer you know so that's that has been explained already the second way is to actually still masturbate and ejaculate about an hour before the main sex act that way it also sort of uh, reduces the 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 sensitivity and the pressure built up in the epi epididymis, which uh, which is uh, uh, some tubes in the testes, you know. And then it has been reported that it can help you last longer, you know. But you need to use it right, like I said, because if you misuse it, you could actually end up with premature ejaculation and require other interventions. Finally, if it's a medical cause, if the premature ejaculation is due to a medical cause, then obviously we need to treat that medical cause. If it's hypertension, we need to get your blood pressure under control. If it's diabetes, we need to get we need to get your blood sugar under control. If we don't do that, you could have severe permanent damage. Diabetes in particular, and um, the sugar, the high sugar can actually kill off your 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 nerves <laughs> such that you can actually become impotent or have erectile dysfunction in association with your with your premature ejaculation. So it's something that you really want to take care of, you know. Of course, uh, hypertension also can do something similar. And the interesting thing about hypertension is that, you know, men come to me, you know, they are hypertensive and you want to start on, on medication and they say that, will the medication affect my performance? Listen, hypertension itself will affect your performance, you know. And so if you don't treat that hypertension, you will suffer for it. Some hypertension medication can affect your performance. But it does. It is not general. It's not everybody who takes the medication who will suffer those um, those effects. And even if it does happen, there are solutions. We can either change the medication or give you an antidote. You know. So my advice is to get started. Let's see if you are going to have that effect. If not, if you don't have it, then we are good to go. If you do have it, we have interventions available for you. Okay. Um, so before we wrap up, and we're almost at the end of this video. Um... You did, you know, when we talked about desensitizing products, um, I, I guess maybe your references were more around like using creams and stuff like that. What do you think about men who, for instance, say they get desensitized when they use condoms? Yes, yes. So that's, that, that's in fact, so condoms by themselves will naturally reduce the sensitivity. So it works. So men, some, some men who have erectile dysfunction have actually solved their problems just by wearing the regular condoms. Alternatively, there are some condoms that have some, some form of delay um, or desensitizing uh, mixtures in the condom, not on the, side, on the side facing the woman, no, on the inside facing the male. And so those ones are also fine because then the woman is not affected in any way, you know. But then the challenge is that assuming, I mean, assuming you, were, you, you, you had a first round with a condom and then you took off that condom and then you had the second round without a condom, 
the woman would now will not get desensitized as well because you have re- removed the thing that was preventing the 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 gel from you know getting on her side you know so you need to be careful with, with, with using those condoms but generally condoms do reduce the sensitivity around the penis so it works for people with um erectile and uh, premature ejaculation sorry what about and finally my last question what about sexual positions does that help with premature ejaculation <laughs> well so there are, there are some sex positions that would uh, make you make a man ejaculate faster <laughs> especially the positions where the woman's legs are closed you see because when the when the legs are closed there's increased friction Increased friction means increased uh, sensitization or sensitivity, you know, for the, for both the man and the woman, actually. So now if you're already struggling with premature ejaculation and there's that increased um, increased contact, you know, be, between the man and the woman, it can cause you to ejaculate faster. So you, if, if you are not using any any condom or any any of the techniques, you need to probably avoid um, the, the closed positions <laughs> as much as possible. Otherwise, you, okay. you, you, you will suffer for it. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your insights there. I think, um, you know, it's been very straightforward how men can last longer in bed. So if there are any guys watching this video, and I'm sure there are lots of you, um, you've got your solutions right there. Just pick and choose what you need to do to, you know, last longer, satisfy your your, your woman and your relationship. And I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll be happy about that. Thank you so much, Dr. Kelvin Owusu. And guys, remember, you can also go check out his channel channel on YouTube. Yes, he's got his own channel, Kelvin Owusu MD. And I'll put a link to the channel um, in my video description. Go check it out. You will learn some very exciting stuff. Plus he had a whole video on masturbation. Mm -hmm. I'll leave a link to that video as well. So doc, thank you once again for all your time. Thank Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next, in another video, I'm sure. Definitely. (laughs) Alrighty.